welcome to the third review of the evening. Up this time is Spearmaster. You are the son of a mighty hero. Now it's your turn to protect the world from an ancient evil. For centuries, brave warriors called Spearmasters have protected the world. You are the son of a legendary hero. And now it is your turn to follow in the footsteps of your ancestors and save the world. Uh, um, sorry, I reread that. Um, Spearmaster is a fast-paced action game where you throw spears at bouncing balls in order to split them. Uh, destroy enemies, solve puzzles, talk to characters, fight against uh, ferocious bosses, and defend the world against an ancient evil known as the Tar. Right, so I know this game. It's Pang, or Buster Brothers, if you want to get North American about it. I don't know if I'm familiar with that, but I'm not surprised that there's been a game that previously that has the mechanic of uh, throwing projectiles upward into balls that are otherwise bouncing. Mm. Like, and when you hit them, they split into two other balls, and you have to get them down to a certain size before you can defeat them. Um, yeah. I mean, that is literally the premise of Buster Brothers. Like, what this game seems to be missing is, uh, like, actual platforms. You know, apologies that we don't have actual... Yeah, well, there, there are platforms that affect the balls bouncing, but your only controls are moving left and right. Yeah, th uh, there we go. <clears throat> Yeah, no. There are apparently items and power-ups and stuff, but uh, I couldn't really get far enough into the game to get to any of those because I am not great at keeping track of more than four, really be realistically more than three bouncing things at a time. Mm. Um, especially when there are some pretty narrow gaps sometimes that they have to bounce through and... You have to get from one side to the other to avoid getting hit. Um, but yeah, when you finally delete the things after getting them small enough, usually they'll, or sometimes they'll drop a gem, which is seems to be currency. Which I will say this: when you die, you just get booted. So <clears throat> if you're looking at the video thing, one of the things is the world map. Uh, each level is either, I mean, most of them are proper levels, but those levels have three screens within them. It's not like a running platform where it's like each one has one screen, like a one screen puzzle. And then when you beat that, you open another one. And then after you beat that one, you get to a third. And after that, you've beaten the stage. Uh, you start with three lives, which you have to complete each each stage that is a set of three screens with. Um, that you do recover in between. Uh, you can go back to the beginning level and talk to your dad uh, to get some plot information that is interesting, and there are other characters to talk to. Occasionally, there'll be a stage that is a puzzle or something, and it does introduce mechanics as you go along. One of the ones, like the, the first major one it introduces, is that um, in addition to the gems, sometimes the enemies, when they split open, drop bombs, which uh, take a while to explode, um, but they will. Um, and obviously any time you get hit, you lose a level, you, you lose a life. So I know there's, it's, it's honestly, the gameplay is very simple. Um, and your level of being good at it will be because they do not always let you limit the number of things you're dealing with at once. So you have to get good at predicting which way things will bounce. And you can kind of control the trajectory, or at least some of the trajectory, based on where you pop things, or particularly how high up they are. Because 
when the the part where I started having a really hard time was where some of the things, even to start with, the apex of their bounces is only slightly above your head. Um. So yeah. Um. But like I said, I played it for as long as I could handle mentally doing it, and didn't really get very far just due to a couple of stages i well one stage i almost could get past and then the next stage i it was just frustrating um it doesn't put you back that far but three lives to get through three screens is a little bit frustrating especially when sometimes things bounce in ways that definitely i'm not saying it's like the game's fault and the things bounced wrong just that I lost track of them. Um, the music isn't very interesting, but yeah, and there, there is a plot about how the these black balls come from space and they bounce around and bring ruin wherever they go and stuff. And the spear that you use, which presumably comes back every time you throw it even though you can throw it pretty fast. Uh, it's a special weapon that's specifically able to destroy them, even if it makes them split down into smaller sizes first. And yeah, there are boss fights after every world. Um, do you guys have any questions? I'm not sure what else I have to say about this. Gameplay-wise, it's very... you Basically, you move left and right and you shoot up. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good too. Like you could almost replace most of this with Space Invaders, but obviously that's not the aesthetic they wanted to go with. Um All right, then uh what's the uh what's the price? 9.99. Is there anything that says how many worlds there are? Uh let me see. Uh, not there. Uh, 120 plus levels. Okay, that's probably fair. Like, th there's a decent amount of content here. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty simple content, but as long as they don't completely stop introducing anything new. That doesn't sound totally unreasonable. Me, personally, I would probably still wait for a sale, but if the gameplay appeals to you, it, it's not an offensive amount, I don't think. Hmm. Anything else? I think that's all. All right, so that'll about do it for this game here. Be sure to tune in after the break, as we'll be reviewing... Book of Demons.